Welcome to Infofinmatics. I am Lukesh Daga, your Maths Educator. So today I am here with uh, past year paper questions on the topic indices and certs. So we'll be solving some of the questions uh, on indices and certs which were asked in past year papers in additional mathematics, uh, subject code 0606. So without wasting much time, let's start solving questions. Okay, so the first question is solved. Uh, 2 to the power x square minus 5x equals to 1 by 64. So what you can do is first uh, try to write down everything in the form of exponents. So once you write down everything in the form of exponents, the next step is to make the base same. Once the base is same and these two are equal, so which implies that your powers must be equal. So once you equate your powers, this will give you a quadratic equations. And if you solve a quadratic equation, then by middle term splitting, the two possible values of x are 3 and 2. Clear? Very simple, very easy question based on indices and solving equation based on indices basically. If you have not watched the part 2 of the video indices and certs, you can watch this video to gain further knowledge on the same. Okay, so next question is again based on indices and this kind of question we have done in our video if you have not watched the video just watch the video part one and over here the idea is always first try to simplify and distribute the powers so once you distribute the powers in numerator and denominator to each and every element in numerator and denominator then you can start simplifying if they have base if both the exponents base is same so on the basis of multiplication we can apply the laws of multiplication we add the powers in case of division we can apply the laws of exponents which is we subtract the powers so in this scenario first case uh, the denominator is in square root so we just write down this in the form of power exponent that is power half now we distributed this power half in the denominator to each and every element in the denominator and the numerator remains as it is now if you look at both at the denominator and numerator p and p both base is same and they are in division so powers would subtract so it's negative 2 minus 1 by 6 similarly q power 1 minus 1 and it's negative 1 by 2 minus negative 3 by 2 so once you simplify and solve, you will get your final answer as this. Now on comparing with our, on comparing this with the question given over here, that is p to the power a, q to the power b and r to the power c. So we can say the value of a is negative 13 by 6, value of b is 0 and value of c is 1. Clear? Simple. So first two questions based on indices, we have done. Okay. Okay, now don't use calculator in this question. This question is based on search. Okay, what it says is the diagram shows two parallelograms that are similar, the base and height in centimeter each of the parallel. Okay, now the idea of similarity. If two shapes are similar, the ratio of corresponding sides is always same. So using that, I can relate the height of the two uh, parallelograms, that is ratio of height of two parallelograms should be equals to the ratio of sides of parallelogram because they are similar and it has to be same. So equating this, now simplifying cross multiplying this will get x equals to this form, equation in the form x equals to uh, 1 plus 3 root 3 multiplied by 5 minus root 3 divided by 6 plus 2 root 3. Once you simplify and multiply, you get a numerator over here. Now we know that our denominator cannot be irrational so we need to rationalize this now conjugate of 6 plus 2 root 3 would be 6 minus 2 root 3 now multiplying this by 6 minus 2 root 3 and if you simplify you'll get something negative 27 plus 23 root 3 by 6 now comparing this with p plus because you need to give your answer in the form of p plus q root 3 by 6 so on comparison we can say the value of p is negative 27 and value of q is 23 clear okay let's move on to the next question 
again don't use calculator generally this is mentioned in the paper in search questions especially don't use calculator now over here the key term is find the positive value of x means we know when we are solving quadratic equation there are two possible values of x so over here they are asking you only you need to search for only you need to find the positive values of x now this is a equation given in standard form so i can easily write down my a b and c because in standard form our equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero now comparing this equation with the standard form i can easily figure out the values of a and b c now using the quadratic formula that is which is given in the for formula booklet or what we say the front page of the paper now formula sheet so x equals to negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac now substituting the value now this part if you open up with a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2icb plus b square and simply multiplying this so we can see negative 4 root 5 and positive 4 root 5 we can easily cancel it out so we we, may, we are left with the constant 16 plus 5 21 plus 4 25 now over here if you see there is plus and minus but we have only considered the plus because if you remember in the question first line itself says find the positive value of x because if you use negative 5 then this will give you negative value of x so for positive value of x so we took only just plus 5 over here simplify this now again your denominator over here is irrational which is 4 plus root 5 so conjugate of this would be 4 minus root 5 simplifying this now we will uh, we'll get 7 plus root 5 by 22 and we are supposed to give our answer in a plus root 5 by b so we can easily compare and say the value of a is 7 b is 22 clear simple okay integers a and b are such that this is the equation given find the possible values of a and corresponding values of b and this is of 6 mark question it looks simple and easy but it's easy <laughs> so once you open up the bracket and if you connect the like terms over here if you observe carefully all these are your like terms which are constant and all these are your terms which are with surge now if you compare the left hand side and right hand side i can easily write down this as 51 plus 0 root 5 it's one and the same thing now comparing the constant terms together so i'll get a square plus a plus 45 should be equals to 51 simplifying this will give me a quadratic equation which i can factorize and easily simplify so i'll get two values of a that is negative 3 or 2 now if you compare the root 5 coefficients now 6a minus b equals to 0 which implies over here that 6a equals to b or b equals to 6a now we got the two values of a that is negative 3 and 2 so substitute that so if a is negative 3 so value of b would be negative 18 and if a is positive 2 value of b is 12 simple 6 marks question very easy okay let's move on to the next question okay now solve the equation this is based on exponents and solving equations so over here we are supposed to solve the two equations simultaneously now if i observe carefully i can easily make the coefficient of y same so i multiplied the first equation by 3 and wrote it down now if you remember this dash d a double s different sign we need to add and same sign we need to subtract so over here my variables have different sign but same value so i need to add them so once you add 9 plus 4 13 x to the power half this will cancel out 14 plus 12 is 26 so x to the power half equals to 2 so x to the power half is 2 now squaring both sides will give me x equals to 4 now this is once you know the value of x you can substitute in any of the given equation i am using the first equation over here so 3 times 2 uh, minus y to the power negative half equals to 4 if you simplify taking 6 on that side negative 2 negative negative cancel out so y to the power negative half equals to 2 so if i do the square of this 
so i'll get y to the power minus 1 one step you can also write down y to the power minus 1 equals to 4 squaring both sides now i know y to the power minus 1 is 1 by y equals to 4 which can be written as y is equals to 1 by 4 because we need to simplify and give the answer in terms of x and y clear simple easy so we have understood uh, the idea of indices and thirds if you have not watched the video please watch the previous videos and we have done some past year paper questions on the topic indices and thirds thank you for watching this video if you have liked the video press the like button and do not forget to share it with your friends see you in the next video bye